Sovereign Nation, it's your boy Red John coming at you with another reaction video. And it's been a few days since the final game of the NFL preseason for the Raiders. And honestly, guys, I actually thought this was the most entertaining game out of all three. Um, a lot of players out there fucking fighting for a spot, trying to make the roster, and they were giving their all. I got to give some love to the players that actually were out there, even though they're third string, fourth string. A lot of them probably ain't going to make the roster, but I got to say... Y'all put on a show, and that shit was entertaining. Uh, I was just in awe at the amount of effort I seen out of these players, man. It was it. It was something. It was something. So it's preseason. We don't have any of the starters out there. Um, you know, it's not even a, a lot of the second stringers are out there. But nothing's more entertaining. Than watching your backups, backups, backup intercept the freaking starting 49ers quarterback. That was entertaining. <laughs> that got me fucking hyped. Now, like, preseason, I get it. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. Uh, and we, it was a tie. 24 to 24. Raiders end up tying with the Niners. But you know what? It's better than losing. Uh, to especially the Niners. Do not get me started on the Niners, all right? Just, uh, let's, let's move on. Long story short, preseason, regular season, doesn't matter. We fucking hate them. Okay, moving on. I honestly think this game showed a lot. Uh, not just from the players on the field that actually want to make this roster, that are at the bottom of the roster, if you really look at it. A lot of these guys are going to be playing special teams, um playing on the practice squad or even competing for a third spot on a position but the amount of effort the amount of will to actually you know get this shit done was very much on display and i enjoyed it i enjoyed it like i really did but even outside of that the coaching the coaching was great i actually really liked the improvement from preseason game one to now the way these coaches actually went about their business in this one, it seemed like they were actually preparing for the regular season. It seems like they're actually learning from their mistakes. And I actually see improvement because you see third stringers making plays that first stringers weren't making, which means they're coaching all the way down the line when it comes to this shit. They're making sure this shit is nailed into people's head. Make the tackle. Cause disruption. Maintain gap discipline. Communicate. On the line, in the secondary. Most of all, when you see that ball, you swarm that shit and you get it. Do what you got to do to make a play. When you got third stringers going up against first stringers and they're making these plays, you know something good's going to happen once you get the first stringers out there. So preseason is all about evaluation when it comes to both the talent and the coaching staff. I really am uh, pleased with the way the coaching staff handled time management at the end of this game particularly when you compare it to how we handled it at the end of the first preseason game. Uh, so you see improvement there. But it also shows, like, you can learn and grow on the fly sometimes. That's what's needed. Uh, but you have to take your lumps every now and then. You're going to have a bumpy road. It's not going to be easy. So I really believe that this coaching staff is going to do way better than what, what they're projected to do, guys specifically in the rankings don't even get me started on that stupid bullshit i don't know what the hell who who woke up and just chose to be stupid like that that's what i think of when i see that fucking 30 second rank bullshit about the coaching staff <sighs> okay not gonna lie i just deleted about 20 minutes of me ranting about that bullshit so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and move on back to the game and delete that well most of it whoever wrote that fucking article is a goddamn idiot fuck them anyways I honestly think that this coaching staff is going to do way better than what they're projected to do because I see so much improvement in certain areas over time. And you see that they learn from their mistakes. They're humble enough to admit when they made a mistake and they're wise enough to fix it. You, 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 you think that that, you know, connection right there, wise enough to fix it is something that's, you know, oh, well, that, that's simple. That's simple enough. You know, you got a mistake. Why don't you fix it? Well, we had a coach last year that knew he was making a mistake and he didn't fucking fix it. Matter of fact, there are plenty of coaches in the league that do that same exact fucking bullshit where they know there's a mistake and they just don't fix it. This coaching staff, 
I don't I do not believe that they will make that type of mistake. And honestly, that's reassuring to me as a Raider fan. Well, there are a few positions on this roster where you should pay attention to when it came to this last game. It was pretty much third string quarterback, which you're gonna want a third string quarterback, guys. I do not understand why everybody was, was like up in arms about the third string. Like this doesn't matter. Why didn't they play Aiden? He needs some more reps, blah blah blah. Yeah, okay, look, dude. 60 plus quarterbacks played last year. 60 plus quarterbacks started last year. Let me put this into perspective. There's only 32 teams. It literally doubled the amount of quarterbacks. Like, do you, you, you understand that, guys? You got to be ready. How? Of those fucking 60 plus quarterbacks that started last year, we attributed to three of them. Three. You want that third string quarterback ready. And you want a little bit more comfort in their ability to make a play in this offense. You got to know. You got to see them out there. You got to see them in line bullets. You got to see what they can do. And I got to say, without a shadow of a doubt, Nathan Peterman ain't it. That motherfucker sucks. God damn, man, I forgot how bad that boy was. He had one good preseason game with us. One. In the four years he played for us, he had one complete preseason game with us. And it, it was in, you know, Gruden's offense. I think he Gruden just loved that guy. I don't know what the fuck was going on there. That was some infatuational bullshit. I really think that we brought Nathan Peterman in to be that veteran presence who knows the offense and knows how to, you know, you know mold certain players up to the standard of this offense. And that's why we brought him in. Well, guess what? It's not that good. Matter of fact, the person he's supposed to be molding is better than him. Yeah. Cut this motherfucker. Cut him. Please. So outside of that, you got a lot of other players that could make this roster on special teams. Uh, specifically on special teams. This is basically what this entire game, this last game, is all about. Special teams. And a lot of people showed out on it. So I got to say, uh, the, it's obvious who I believe <laughs> really made an impact in this game and honestly earned themselves a spot. You got uh, McAllister. <laughs> Where have I heard that name? I'm pretty sure. Uh, that, ain't that the name of the kid from Home Alone? That's his last name or some shit like that. I swear to God, that's what I think of whenever I hear McAllister. I, I went and looked it up, and that's literally what it is. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. McAllister. Yo, this guy went off. He went off. Like, I d didn't even know he was on our fucking roster. This dude just started making plays. Of uh, 80-yard return for a touchdown. Fucking smoked that team. He smoked their coverage. He also had two receptions for 56 yards and a beautiful touchdown. The adjustment. The adjustment. The way he made that adjustment to catch that ball. And Bradley had, you know, put, put the air on it. Um... Might have put it in a questionable spot, but yo, that the wide receiver made a play, and I gotta say, I, I love the effort out of this kid. Give him a spot, please. Give him a spot. If he, if he's, you know, if he doesn't get a spot, I get it. There's plenty of talent out there, all that shit. But uh, th this kid, oh wow, he got some. He got some. Uh, outside of that, guys, it was honestly a good, hard fought game. Uh, the way these uh, youngsters played to make this roster, I, I was very, very entertained. Uh, loved it. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Oh, season's right, right around the corner, guys. Cannot wait. I will be at the Raiders versus Charger game in L.A. I'll be tailgating along with Raider Nation, and I can't wait to see y'all. Y'all know the deal, guys. I'll try and put out another video if I can. If I can't, it is what it is. But I will see you post-game, just like I always do. Y'all know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Go Raiders.